Hey, uh, today I'd like to talk about something called Jack, which uh, stands for Jack Audio Connection Kit, which is a little piece of software that allows me to do something that I've been wanting to do for like ages. Well, ever since I got my uh, Fast Track Pro from M Audio. So let me start by explaining my uh, particular uh, problem, which is that I have. Uh, M Audio Fast Track Pro, which has inputs and of course has outputs. Problem is, I don't have um, the problem is that I don't have any powered uh, speakers that I can hook up to the Fast Track Pro. So I have speakers uh, hooked up to my uh, computer to the sound card on the computer, but no speakers on the M Audio. So let's say I want to record some guitar in Ableton Live. Uh, I can set uh, the Fast Track Pro as the audio driver in Ableton, uh, plug in the guitar and start recording. But if I wanted to hear something back, I would need to take my headphones from the computer that are normally plugged into my computer. I would have to plug them into the Fast Track Pro to be able to hear something. And by default in Windows or in Ableton, there is no way of telling either Ableton or Windows to use the Fast Track Pro for recording and use my uh, onboard sound card for playback. There's, there's, there's no way of doing that by default. Or at least not that I'm aware of. And I've tried. I really, really tried. So that is one problem that I have using like the Fast Track Pro and using it in combination with my onboard sound card. Another problem that I was having was using an Osio driver in Ableton, like uh, Osio for All, and then at the same time trying to run something like Adobe Audition, which would also be set to use the Osio for All driver. Uh, those two wouldn't work at the same time, because uh, whichever program uses the Osio driver first uh, kind of locks it, so you cannot launch a, a second or third application using uh, the, the same audio driver. And that's very annoying. And if you haven't uh, tried that before, I'll quickly uh, show you how that goes. So let me um, launch Ableton Live. So I'm in Ableton Live and I'm in the audio preferences. I have selected uh, Audio for All as my uh, driver. And if I open up the hardware setup, you can already see the problem. The interface is currently locked because I'm using it right now because I'm recording and Ableton can't use it. So there's a problem there. And the only way to fix that is to, well, stop recording and then uh, enable uh, the output here so I can work with uh, Ableton. Or I, I could simply change uh, the driver here, but then you get like a huge delay or a huge uh, latency. And that's exactly where something like Jack comes in handy and actually solves all my problems. Well, uh, those related to Ableton and audio at least. So back on the Jack Audio website, head on over to the download page and as you can see there's uh, different flavors available. We'll be looking into the Windows uh, installment and once downloaded just install it like you would install uh, any software. Going over to the frequently asked questions there is a um, at the bottom here there's how do I use Jack on Windows click on that and here you'll find the information on how to install and configure everything the only thing is that some of the stuff that is here seems to be outdated and shouldn't be done rather than should over here steps 4 and 5 those are not necessary because you can uh, configure everything from uh, Jack uh, control uh, UI so once you have Jack installed, uh, locate the shortcut in your start menu or if you've added it to your desktop, use that one. Uh, so I have it over here. Find Jack control, right click, select properties. Yeah, sorry, my operating system is in Dutch, but at the bottom it should say properties. Select that. Then look 
for compatibility and at the bottom here uh, there's an option to run the program as administrator that should be enabled even if you're logged on as an administrator uh, you still need to do this especially on uh, Vista and uh, Windows 7 once you've done that for Jack Audio, you need to do the same thing for every application that will be using Jack Audio as its audio driver. So, for instance, Ableton, right click its shortcut, go to the compatibility tab and make sure that run this program as administrator uh, is enabled. Gonna do the same for uh, Adobe Audition compatibility run this program as administrator and now we're finally ready to have a look at Jack itself so start Jack control and you will see a little window like this first thing we need to do is configure it and to do so you click on setup it will pop up this window here and first thing you need to do is this. I'm not sure if Jack D is selected by default, I can't quite remember, but if it is, the dash S will be missing, so uh, if you see Jack D with nothing added behind it, add a space, then a dash, then the capital S. And over here as the driver, select port audio. Everything else you should be able to leave everything else at their default values I have lowered uh, the frame slash period which is your buffer if you're familiar with ASIO or uh, ASIO for all that is uh, uh, your buffer uh, I have mine set to 128 uh, depends on on your system what uh, uh, value you use here but try 128 or try uh, 256 and then I've changed, uh, changed the sample rate from uh, 44,100 to uh, 48,000 and I changed the uh, maximum number of ports from I think the default is 128 yeah I changed it to like 32 uh, it's not that important it will work both ways and there's a lot more things you can configure but for now uh, with everything set up like this you should be able to um, start the Jack Audio connection kit so make sure to save it close this and then hit start so if you're lucky uh, I sure wasn't uh, when I first installed it but if you're lucky you should now here see start it and basically Jack Audio is now running and ready to be used by for instance uh, Ableton now if you're unlucky uh, you should have seen this message window and it will display here that um, it couldn't start the server uh, problem is you won't get a very descriptive message saying what exactly went wrong so in case uh, you the server didn't start up properly close this window, go back into the setup, make some changes here like uh, select a particular input device or an output device and see if you can get it working uh, that way. Now with Jack running click on connect and what you'll see here uh, depends on what you have running currently on your system. Uh, on mine here is just my microphone so that, that's the one I'm talking into right now and my playback are my uh, speakers connected to my uh, computer leave that open for a second I can minimize this I'm gonna start live and once in Ableton Live go to preferences audio select ASIO and in the audio device you should have an option called jack router select that one and bam you're good to go and if I hop on back over to uh, Jack you'll now see that it has a new entry here called live 
and it has automatically mapped my microphone into the inputs of live and it has mapped the outputs of Ableton Live to my system output which are my speakers so I could now record uh, my voice in Ableton and the sound would go to my speakers that's basically what's happening here uh, and I can actually now disconnect this so if I don't want to record my microphone in Ableton I'll just disconnect it done now remember when I earlier um, in Ableton Live selected my Osio for All driver uh, I wasn't able to connect to it because I was uh, using uh, my microphone and my output was being used and well f I didn't have audio in, in uh, Ableton Live uh, that is no longer the case uh, I'm currently recording my voice and sound just works in Ableton so by using jack I'm able to use my system sound uh, at the same time as I'm using an audio driver with jack <laughs> is just awesome. So moving on to uh, another problem that I have was running uh, two applications at the same time using an audio driver. Uh, Jack also solves that so if I click on edit here it's gonna launch uh, Adobe Aud Audition. Um, let me quickly check the audio hardware. Over here it has Jack router just like it does in uh, Ableton. So if I now play this it just works and then I can do all kinds of funky stuff like going back to the connections over here you'll notice now there's a third application here namely Adobe Audition it sends its output 1 and 2 to the system as you can see here by those uh, lines here I'm gonna disconnect this so right now I won't have any output from Adobe Audition but what I wanna do is send the output from Audition into Live like this just drag the outputs to the inputs going back to Ableton Live gonna add a audio track here the audio from is the external in 1 and 2 uh, set this to monitor in and now play this uh, it's looping so it should start over again so I can still hear the audio although I'm not sending the output to my speakers but it's going to Ableton Live so let's hear that again I could do all kinds of stuff now here in, in, uh, in Ableton like adding effects and whatnot. Only thing that is currently missing is syncing the two. So it's kind of like Rewire but not completely because Rewire also uh, synchronizes the two applications. So if I would hit play here it would also start playing in um, uh, Adobe Audition which currently is not the case. Now last but not least for me at least is uh, using my fast track pro inputs while at the same time uh, using my uh, computer speakers as the output and to do that I need to start up my fast track pro unfortunately I won't be able to show you how it works completely because then I would need to disable the microphone that I'm currently using but I can at least show you how to configure it so here I have the Fast Track Pro driver properties. It says here that outputs 1 and 2 are enabled and the balanced input 1 and balanced input 2 are enabled. Uh, and it says that it is connected. 
then I go into the Jack Audio setup. I already have a uh, pre-configured setup, so I'm just going to select that and see what changes. Uh, over here in input device it says hardware zero and output device it says hardware zero as well. What that means is that it will use whatever is set as the system default. So let's have a look at that. Right click here. Uh, it says uh, my devices. So this is for the playback. It's my uh, PC uh, speakers and recording. I have here a list of devices uh, from Fast Track Pro and to record with it all I would need to do here is set this as the standard uh, input device which I'm not gonna do right now because if I would do so uh, my microphone would no longer work and you would no longer hear me but that's it. that is the way to do it uh, set this as the standard device keep my speakers as the standard devices in jack set both hardware zero and hard it's it's from the drop down here so it's an option in the drop down here uh, enable that click on save click on ok and then start the server and there we go it is now started and without jack as far as i know this is not possible so there you have it a small introduction uh, into jack audio connection kit for windows thanks for watching